Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 5 of the Giant Music Q&A series. I'm very happy you joined us today. Today the question comes from Womiar Elbuoid. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that, but I hope I did a decent attempt at it. And the question is, what is the deepest song you've ever made? Here's the thing with this question. The deepest song I ever made, I've not released yet as the release of this podcast. At the point that I released this podcast, the deepest song I've ever made is Karma. Karma is a song I made with my project Face Your Fears. It talks about the bullying I went through in high school and really, I really dug deep into my feelings and I really talked about all of the crap I dealt with when I was in high school. It was pretty tough because I was starting out making music. I played guitar and sang and I wasn't a very good singer and I thought I was decent and people would encourage me and be like, oh yeah, you're doing good. Keep going, Jayan. Yeah, Jayan, you're so good, blah, 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 blah. When I was not. And so they built up this uh, false sense of confidence in me and I basically ridiculed myself a lot thinking I was really good when I really wasn't that good. But that's just part of growing up and living. When I came to this realization that they were just basically making fun of me, it was really hard for me to come to terms with that and to realize that all these people I thought were my friends really weren't and they were just making fun of me this entire time. Karma talks about dealing with that. The verses talk about the frustrations I dealt with with all of these comments that they made and all these insults that they thrown my way. The lyrics I put in there, it says, all I know is that someday all of you are gonna pay. That's the perfect example of karma. And in the chorus, the chorus is this big screamy, uh, vocal part that I did, which was basically the karma, the revenge, uh, the, the lyrics go, you'll get yours one day, yeah, you're gonna pay, karma cup in your way, all you do is slay a body made of clay, it's never okay. Something like that. I don't know if I got them perfectly. I haven't uh, played this song back and uh, redone it in a very long time, uh, almost a year now. <laughs> that song is very deep to me because it really talks about all of my issues. It's one of those songs where you dig deep, deep inside yourself. You think about what you went through. You think about all of the disturbance and all of the emotional pain you dealt with and you just lay it all out there. And when I put out that song, a lot of people were like, whoa, this is deep. This is emotional. This is intense. This is not something I expected from Jayan. I'm a very happy-go-lucky guy. I make jokes a lot. I always have a smile on my face. I'm a very happy person, but there is more to that. I have dealt with a lot of bullying in my life and I went through a lot during high school and this song really talks about it. This song was so deep to me that my very first semester at Music Industry Arts, we had this uh, project in the recording engineering class called an ISP, which stands for Independent Study Project. And in that project, you have to record a song at the studio and present it to your peers and teacher at the end of the semester. And so I re-recorded the guitars and basses and vocals, and I did the drums at the studio. I had a good friend of mine do the drums. He was really awesome. And... Alex and I, which is the guy I made Face Your Fears with, Alex knew how much that song meant to me and how much I really wanted to do this song. And he got to come around for the studio and it was a really fun experience. That's another story. When I recorded that song I, and I was behind the SSL mixing board and I had my drummer in the room and I had this track playing back and we were able to, we had everything mic'd up and we were tracking and tracking and tracking. I felt so cool. And I really had this moment of like, wow, this is, this is my universe. This is what I enjoy doing. And all those people who made fun of me I don't see any of them doing what I'm doing now. I don't see any of them producing songs and putting out albums and having all these subscribers and followers and Facebook uh, likes. I don't see them having the success I'm developing. You know, like I won contests online, I've made money, I work freelance and make a, my living out of this music and I become a YouTube partner. All of these successes, you know, it really stem from my hard work due to what they put me through. For the most part, when people realize they're not good enough for what they love, they quit or they stop or they, they take a break. I never stop. I never took a break. You know? I have people tell me like, what are you, why stop putting out videos. They're really bad. Like you're embarrassing yourself. And I said, no, I love doing this. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. And karma really represents the entire song. But yeah, back to when I was in the studio, when I was in the studio and I really had that moment of like explaining how I wanted the drums to be played and everything. I felt like such a boss and I felt so cool. And I put out the song and presented it to my class. So the teacher is like, uh, asks me, uh, so what's the scoop, Jayanne? And I tell him, uh, well, this is a very personal song. I have dealt with a lot of bullying in my high school. I feel comfortable with this group of people in this class to share this uh, with, with all of you. And the teacher said, oh, for sure, for sure. We can't wait to hear. I played Karma. The reaction was good. The people enjoyed it. And uh, I looked around the room and people were doing a lot of the he head bobbing. And after the first chorus, right when I started into the uh, second verse, I rap more quickly than I usually do in the song. And so the teacher listens to that. And I see people and people are bobbing their head even more. And the teacher looks at me and he points at my laptop as my song was playing from it and he says that's you i said yeah he's like wow and <laughs> you know i mean that's his sake because he's he's an audio engineer teacher he has a lot of success in the music industry and when he said that i was 
oh my god the shockwave went through me this like happiness went through me this relief came out of me i was so happy he enjoyed it and karma was very deep to me usually i record a song i put it on youtube and people listen to it and that's the end of it and i might get some comments here and there but karma was so much more than just that karma really involved more than just putting out a song it really involved a strong message i put it out in some anti-bullying facebook groups and i got a great response a lot of people related to it and they told me that they, it really spoke to what they went through and you know if my music is able to help someone and what they go through and the hardships that they deal with that's just that's the biggest gift I can truly get to someone. That's the best thing I can do with my music. If I can help somebody out, it's such a such a great thing. And Karma had so much success that this agency reached out to me and said that they wanted to put it on this uh, CD sampler that they're going to go give out to labels. So I put out Karma and I gave him a copy of it. And so it is on a CD sampler. And I'm really happy about that. So yeah, deepest song I wrote at this point. Karma is definitely the deepest song. And if that's not deep enough for you, trust me that the songs I'm working on right now for the giant music mixtape, the next one, it's going to be much, much deeper. It's going to be very intense. I really, really, really went deep into what I feel and what I go through and what I live and really wrote some intense lyrics. I'm very happy that I'm going to get to share this with all of you guys. Thank you so much for checking out this uh, very uh, emotional episode of the uh, giant music Q&A series. Very good question. Thank you so much. Uh, so, if this is the very first video of mine you've ever checked out, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would very much be appreciated. I make videos every week and I'm putting out new songs every second week. Also, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Jayan Music Band. My Twitter is at TweetMeJayan and my website is JayanMusic.com. I'm still currently in France. Uh, I know I say that in every single episode, but people ask me when I get back. I don't know yet. I'm doing some really cool things right now. So thank you guys so much for checking out this episode and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.